Hi, I'm Paris, talking to you from 5,000 feet up in the mountains of central Mexico. And I mention the elevation because just like every year when we come here at Christmas to visit family, haul in the luggage, upstairs to the bedrooms, get out of breath so easily. Well, that's a usual thing. But this year, because I have my Fitbit with me, I can see exactly what's going on. But this year, it's not just hauling luggage upstairs that's wearing me out. Just getting in my 10,000 steps a day is hard work. Now, it's probably because I'm anemic. I've had cancer treatment for the past two years, which have left me with a mild to moderate anemia. So I am really feeling the elevation, and it started me wondering, because about a year from now, I have aspirations to do some mountain climbing, which involves going up pretty high. How high, you ask? 22,000 feet. Not that high, right? Well, this will be after I finish my cancer treatment later on this year. I'll have a few months to get in shape for that if I can make it happen. But it does have me concerned, will I be able to properly acclimatize because I have anemia, not because I'm low on iron, not because of B12 issues, just plain the treatment, Lupron, which keeps my testosterone down to about zero, interferes with the production of red blood cells. Now, the accepted story for how people are able to acclimatize or get used to being at elevation, their body adapts by producing more red blood cells. But I just read an article that says that um, 50 years of thinking is actually incorrect. that it takes longer than that for your body to make more red blood cells. So there's something else going on that allows you to acclimatize. It may actually be your existing red blood cells modifying their behavior that results in acclimatization. What the, the thinking is that your, your red blood cells can be more or less sticky as relates to oxygen. And so as that stickiness level changes, triggered by being up at altitude continuously, or even going up higher during the day and sleeping a little lower at night, the conventional way of climbing mountains like Mount Everest, that that behavior in your red blood cells changes, and that's what results in acclimatization. So if that's the case, I may be okay, because maybe my red blood cells can still manage that, even if my body's not very good at producing extra red blood cells. So here's what my Fitbit has shown me so far. Now the first few days, this is when I was back in Austin at about six to 700 feet elevation. And then you can see when it drops down to 92% blood oxygen saturation, that was Mexico City. And then the following two days have been at about 6,000 feet elevation. Looking for research that's been done on people who are anemic and mountain climbing, I haven't been able to find much. So I thought I'm going to do an experiment on myself. I'm here for one more week and that should be enough time to see some acclimatization to this altitude if it's going to happen. So I'm gonna keep forcing myself to do my 10,000 steps a day, to be active, to try and trigger my body to compensate for both the elevation and the fact that I'm anemic and see if it can't change the behavior of my red blood cells so they'll do a better job of delivering oxygen to my body. Maybe I'll be able to get the 10,000 steps in with ease by the end of this week. So this video is part one. In a week, on my last day here, I will update and show you my new Fitbit information for whether I was able to acclimatize at all and see what chances I have a year from now of maybe being able to climb up to 22,000 feet. I'll link to that video at the end of this video. And as you can see, even though I'm at 6,000 feet elevation, I'm in short sleeves and it's in the 70s here. I know back in the US and in Texas, it is so cold this week. All I can really say is sorry, stay warm, and I'll see you on the next review. There are so many choices and you don't want to stress. You want your health, food, and home receiving only the best. That's what we're here for. We give honest reviews. Paris DX.